Hi guys, it's Andy Black here. Um, I just wanted to create a quick video to um, give you a little tip on finding niches for local keywords. So if there's a, a specific area, town or city that you're trying to uh, rank for for a particular keyword, I'm going to show you a tip that I use that you might find pretty useful. But first of all, before I do that, um, I had an email off a, one of my subscribers last week um, asking me what the difference is um, between broad search, exact search, and also phrase match. Okay, so the the three different types of um, search data that you can get back from Google in Google's keyword tools, which is what I've got open here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just give an explanation. Uh, I'm pretty sure that 95% of you will uh, understand exactly. Um, what these different options are, but what I'm going to do is give an example. So first of all, um, you've got exact match, okay, and these have got the little square brackets um, around. That's how these are indicated. So basically, exact match is just that. It's basically how many times this particular keyword, uh, with no other words or anything else, is searched within Google, okay. So that's uh, that's the exact match. Um, then what you've got there is, um, we'll go up the top one, then we've got, no, I'll start with the next one, um, which is phrase match, okay, and these are indicated with the little double quotes on either side, and basically what that is, is any keyword, um, keyword phrase that includes uh, these two words, in this case it's dog training, so it's any keyword phrase that includes the uh, words dog training together in this order. So to give you uh, an example of this, we've got here phrase match, and here's three examples. So we've got dog training techniques. You can see it's got dog training in, in its entirety. The word techniques on the end, so dog training techniques is a uh, phrase match for dog training. Um, we've got dog training in the UK, and also dog training classes. So that's three examples of a phrase match um, keyword. And then we've got the broad match. Now, broad match dog training is basically any keyword phrase that includes each of the words within um, this instance. So here it's still dog training. But the word dog and training has to be within the actual keyword phrase, but it doesn't have to be in any, any particular order, and they don't have to be together. So I'll give you uh, some examples of that. Here we've got dog and puppy training. That would be a broad match for dog training because it has the word dog in and it has the word keyword, uh, sorry, the word uh, training. Then we've got training your dog. Again, it's got both of these words in, but it's also got the word your separating the two. And then um, best method of training your dog. So again, it's got the two uh, words in. So that is a broad match. Um, so that's why when you look at the uh, Google external keyword tool, um, you will see that broad match gives you a lot higher numbers. So basically, um, there are over 1.2 million um, searches made each month in Google that inc that include the word dog and training within the actual search query. Then here we've got exact match, so dog training, them two words on their own searched in Google um, 40,500 times. And then we've also got dog training phrase match. So again, these are where the two words are together, and that there is uh, 673,000 approximately. So it's always a good idea. Um, I usually go by exact match uh, to find as a basis for trying to pick a, a keyword, because if, if you've got a, an exact match of, say, even a 1,000, then chances are that you're going to rank for... Um, at least half again, or even a lot more than that, uh, for a keyword that has your exact match, but also has some other words before or after it, uh, and also for some broad searches as well. So it, you use the exact match just as a basis, um, and then obviously you know that um, you're going to, you know, include other keywords, and you're going to get ranked for other stuff. Right now, I get on to my uh, tip for local SEO. Um, what a lot of people do is they pick a, a niche first or a topic and then they um, look for areas that they can get like a, any, an exact match domain, uh, an EMD, um, or keywords that they can target where the competition is low. What I sometimes do is um, I pick a, sp a particular area and then get Google to tell me some of the niches for that particular area keywords that have been searched for. So I'm going to pick a local town to me. I'm, I live in the UK, obviously, um, and I'm going to use the word Middlesbrough, which is just about 
five miles away from where I live, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm going to put the keyword um, Middlesbrough in. Um, I've got here um, United Kingdom because I'm based in the UK. And for now, I'm just going to have exact match uh, on just so it, it's nice and tidy when I'm trying to explain. It's already actually changed it, but I'll click search anyway. I think it's already done that. Right. And if we look at the bottom here now, what it's done, it gives me a ad group ideas. So basically, um, it gives me uh, keywords that are searched for along with the keyword Middlesbrough. So I've got Middlesbrough in my search term, and you can see here in greyed out, it's given me a few examples here. Now, it's got FC, um, it's got 39 keywords within that group because FC is football club. And uh, certainly if you're from the UK, you'll know and be aware that Middlesbrough have a football uh, team. Um, not a very good one, in my opinion, but they have a, a football team. So obviously a lot of these searches here, you can see football results, football shop, football club, um, and then there's stuff like gym. But if you look over here as well, show more ad groups, you can click that and it'll just keep showing more. So if there's nothing that you've found of any interest, any sort of niche that you can um, delve into, uh, as you can see here, Again, life scores, uh, football, a lot of it is all, all football related because it is a, a football town. So, But what I'm going to do here as an example, I'm going to show you, we're going to use the gym uh, example. So obviously people are searching for um, gyms within Middlesbrough. So I'm going to click on that plus symbol and we can see in here gyms in Middlesbrough. Um, exact match, 140 searches a month. Now you might think, well that's not much but if I bought the exact match domain and that was available in my opinion um, for my country I would get a .co.uk because they're the the, uh, the domains um, extensions that want to buy the TLDs for me to be able to rank um, in the UK um, quite well I would I would get a .co.uk now if I bought that keyword and then optimize my site for that uh, chances are I would rank above um, some authority type uh, sites, you know, gyms that maybe have backlinks and stuff, but um, they might, you know, cover different towns. So if I rank for that, then I could, you know, sell uh, leads or uh, clicks or anything like that to uh, local gyms, particularly ones that haven't got an online presence and they might be, um, you know, missing out. If we look on the right hand side here, you can see uh, approximate cost per click. So the people who are um, paying for AdWords up the top of the search results for these keywords you can see here what they're actually paying so if you've got anything that's sort of like you know two three four pounds or if you you know we're talking in dollars five dollars upwards or whatever then you know that um, you can potentially make money by selling uh, leads clicks or, or anything else to them okay um so that's one way and then what you can do then you can also delve into that as well and and you know get even um other long tail keywords so if i was going to target that keyword gyms in middlesbrough you can sort of click on it again show more like this and just let it load and on this one yeah it's not giving any more examples but sometimes there might be other smaller searches um w under that keyword Okay, and if they have got any searches that are very similar to this, but maybe have five, six, you know, four, five, six keywords in, then you can sort of include some of them within your content on your site. And what that'll do, all it'll do is it'll strengthen uh, this uh, ranking for this keyword on your site because if it shows other related keywords, then these are the keywords that Google is is it knows is relevant to this keyword. So if you build content around a few other keywords, it's just going to strengthen your ranking. Um, for, for the keyword that you're targeting so um, that's a good thing to do and um, put your town in um, or your city or even a um, you know a state or a, a region um, and then see what sort of um, keywords are being searched for within within that sort of geographical area because every ta every town is different every city has different landmarks and um, it has other things that you might not even be aware of uh, you know Manchester um, if, you, if I've done searches for Manchester a lot of its parking and um, airport related because obviously it has a one of the main UK um, terminals there so obviously a lot of people who travel to Manchester are because they're flying they go on a holiday they go on business trips they might need parking things like that if you can find if that's just an example but if you can find um, keywords like that that you can get a exact match domain 
and you can then sell um, you know clicks or ad space or even rent the site to a, a company say look I'm getting this much traffic a month show them the stats show them the clicks even send some uh, leads or traffic or some something to their site anyway to start off with so they can see what sort of referrals and what traffic they're getting from your site I mean you can rent that site out you might rent it out to a, a couple of different companies but always um, start with the town first and then get your niches from that rather than looking for niches always and then trying to find towns that um, that, that get traffic and get searches for those particular keywords. Okay, thanks for watching.